Howdy all y'all. My name is Silver Fatigue and today we're just gonna be talking a little bit and watching the new Poppy Playtime trailer for chapter four because we can. I wasn't actually planning on doing a video like this today. I, I still have so many videos I'm editing. I want to be consistent. I mean, I've had this channel for over 10 years now and I've like, I've uploaded, but then I didn't. Well, I can, one day maybe we can go into the whole creation of this channel and why it is like it is. <laughs> Pretty much, I wasn't planning on doing this video today. I just, I was watching Moist Critical as everyone does. Um, Cause I mean, it's Moist Critical who doesn't watch Moist Critical. I noticed that the Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 trailer dropped because everyone was talking about it. Apparently it dropped on the 26th, so that was literally yesterday. Hey, I'm on the bandwagon, you guys. <laughs> I didn't know I was. I thought I was like two weeks behind. That's good to know. Um, but yeah, Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 just dropped. And so I was like, I'm in the shower. Might as well. I wanted to upload a video this week anyways. Well, technically it's the week after this week, but you guys don't need to know that. Yeah, so I was in the shower and I was thinking about it and I was like, why don't I do like a first look like react? You know, like, I'd, you know, I'll sit down and we'll watch the trailer together. We'll talk about it. We'll break it down. I know on the channel, I have only played part one of chapter one. Well, I mean, I only have part one of chapter one uploaded, but I've played the first two. I haven't played chapter three yet, but I've played cha all of chapter one and I've played all of chapter two and I was just starting chapter three, but then Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit came out. So then I started recording that and then I forgot about chapter three. So ch this is gonna be kind of spoilers, but also kind of, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like once we get into it. Also, the reason why I didn't start off this video with my headphones on like I usually do is because I just got gauges. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you can see it, but, but I got gauges and I know they're small, but I don't think I was supposed to have a 12 gauge. I'm going to be honest. I did a lot of research. I did a lot of reading, a lot of all the kind, and I was pretty sure I was supposed to start off at like a, a 14 gauge or even a 16, cause well, 14. Um, but they were like, come into the shop, we'll start you off on a 12. And I was like, okay. When you put them in, it was like fine at first. I will say, you know, I have three tattoos. I have three tattoos. I have my septum pierced. And now pain just makes me angry. So when it happened, I was just like, oh my God, I'm gonna. <laughs> I was so angry. I was like, this hurts so much. I haven't started the oil yet, but I probably should. I was scared to start the oil because I didn't want to like further infect it and fuck with it. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm excited to like get on this, but but also if anyone's gonna be there, I'm going to thank Miss in Los Angeles for Jacksepticeye on December 6th. So if you guys are there, hit me up. I'll be there. Huh? I'm actually super excited about that. Because it's gonna be like my first big thing I've done by myself as an adult, but I'm slowly making my way. And I'm slowly learning about life and learning about who I want to be as a person. And I'm reflecting on a lot of the things I've done in my whole life. And I'm trying, I mean, I'm 20. You know, I'm, I'm 20, I'm turning 21 very soon. And I want to make sure that I make the best decisions for maybe not me right now, but for me in the future. Being honest, being real, being considerate, being kind, being appreciative, being thoughtful, and even admitting when I'm wrong. Maybe it won't feel good now, but I know in the future it'll help build me into who I want to be. And Jacksepticeye was a big part of that. He was a big part of my childhood, you know? and. It's always been like my dream to see him live and I'm going to get to now. I'm, I'm going to be able to go to Los Angeles on my own and I'm going to be able, I, I'm in the front row while I'm like row three, you know, and I, yeah, I'm going for the morning and the afternoon show. 
the early and the late tickets, like I'm going for both of them. I'm gonna be staying in Airbnb right down the street from the theater. Like, I'm doing that. No one else is doing that. I'm doing that. I'm paying for my own ticket. I'm paying for my Airbnb. I'm paying, you know, I'm taking the days off work. I'm doing that because I realize that yes, it may hurt short term money wise, but I know that meeting him Maybe not meeting him like one-on-one, -on -one, but being able to see him in person, being able to visualize and conceptualize the person that I have admired through a, a screen for a majority of my life, being able to see him as an actual human being in person, being able to actualize him, I know that that will impact me. I don't know how it'll impact me, but the things that I wanna do and the things that I value I should put my money towards those things, and I should put my time towards those things. I should not not do the things that I enjoy and not do the things that I care about because other people tell me it's stupid. And, and that's a hard thing for me because I'm very much a people pleaser, so it's, it's hard to not... It's hard to not listen to other people's opinions and take them as facts. Chill, baby girl. You know, it's it's hard to realize that I'm a person too, and that I deserve to do the things I enjoy, and I deserve to be happy. Like, you just did a uh, laugh cat. Hmm? Why you just a laugh cat? Stop, I gotta watch a video now. Actually, these do not, this does not hurt as much as I thought it would. Y these headphones are amazing, by the way. They just, like, have a short, like, oh my god. A short shelf life. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's dive into this. Okay, so we're going down an elevator. The funky light. Down an elevator. I probably would know more about what's going on here after I played chapter three. Something's watching us. Hey. Interesting. Those have to be important for some reason, since we're seeing so much of it. Yeah, see, they're like in every shot. What is it, like a gas line? The souls of the dead children. Actually, I say that, but that might be true. <laughs> might be remnant. See, I told you they're important. I don't know what they are, but they're important. Bloody prison bench. Strawberry jam? Love me some stuff right here. Oh, this is the entrance. Oh, it looks like no. Oh, the cubes, the squares. A dead stuffed animal. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That was actually so, cause I thought it was gonna be fucking cheesy. Like catnap, like catnap is scary, but it's catnap, I mean. This though? They're like, oh. Like, look at that. That's well done. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, that's actually like really, really cool. So, I love how 
So if anyone's watched, um, if anyone's been on TikTok for the past, I don't know, like three years, four years, been on YouTube for the past four years, right? Like everyone went through and watched Mandela catalog. I mean, that was a big thing. I love Mandela. I adore Mandela. I love Mandela. It's so good. But you can see a lot of inspiration here. Like a lot. Oh, shit. Like with the eyes, you know, and then like even like just the two dots in the dark. Like a lot of this is. We've been seeing a lot of this in analog horror, and it's so great to see this transfer over into a game setting. Um, and especially with, oh, that just, that looks wonderful. Like, and especially with Poppy Playtime, too. Like, it's, it's cool to see it, like, get actually scary. Like, I'm, I'm not saying it's not scary. It's Poppy Playtime. Like, they have improved so much since chapter one. Like, not friendly, definitely not friendly. <laughs> oh, like, oh, I never even caught this. You're gonna be being a lion is totally cool. It almost seems as if the player has descended into the lion's den. That's so cool. You know, and they, they really have come so far since chapter one, because since I just recently played chapter one, like, I remember when chapter one was like the big thing, you know, and now they're on chapter four and this looks amazing. I am so excited to actually get to sit down and play this game. Like, I'm super excited. Like, videos are still coming. I'm just, I'm taking a minute. Um, but I'm genuinely so excited to get into this and, and to start watching this. I mean, start playing this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I kind of went on a tangent there for a while, but I just have so much to talk about and so little time to actually talk. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys are excited to watch me finish playing Poppy Playtime, then stay on and stay tuned and subscribe and comment and like the video and interact. Get me into that algorithm. Let's get some viewers. Let's let's get this rolling. I would love to make this something that I could do full term, long term. And the quickest way and the best way to do it, and the real way to do it, is if you like it, then you should subscribe it. It helps the channel out and it helps me out. Thank you guys so much and Honestly, I'm super excited to keep making content for you guys. So, this is Silver Fatigue, signing off.